PC Wins kit here with the iStorage Disk Assure 2 Portable Encrypted SSD. What is the Disk Assure, you say? Well, it is an easy to use, ultra secure, pin authenticated portable drive. As you can see here, USB 3.1 solid state drive is what I've got. I've got the 512 gigabyte model. It comes in different capacities, of course. One of the things that uh, really stands out is a 256 bit military grade hardware encryption, okay? Uh, built in with this processor that it has, uh, not only is it going to keep all the pins and everything secure within the enclosure, but it also has this smarts technology built in. I call it smarts, but it's really the edge technology. And that enhanced dual generating encryption technology is what really uh, stands out. Now, of course, it is uh, rugged, you know, it has that shockproof design. Uh, I do like that uh, epoxy coating uh, that I'll show you on, on the buttons there. So it's got a little bit of waterproofing going on, which I like as well. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and uh, take a look here at the specs a little bit more. You can pause the screen at any time. The read and write that they say for the data transfer speed is about 300 megs per second, roughly. You can see it right there. I'm going to do benchmarks in just a moment to prove that or disprove it. And uh, we can see also the interface USB 3.1, obviously backwards compatible, platform independent from any operating system. So every flavor is right there. And there's the AES XDS 256 bit uh, full hardware encryption that I was telling you about. Okay, so uh, it has built in a secure microprocessor that is going to also detect uh, brute force hack attacks basically you know whether they're automated whether they're done through different devices it's got the capability to detect that comes in different colors of course i've got the blue one here the ocean blue color love it in the box let's take a look at this first you've got um a case a nice uh you know like a clamshell type of uh, case it's got um, good construction doesn't look cheap at all feels good uh, it's a hard case so that's nice and uh, gives you that extra little bit um, so you can carry it around and uh, I'm not afraid of dropping this to be honest it looks so rugged and strong uh, that's a real bonus there before I show you the the drive itself let me tell you about the bonus software that it comes with the Nero back it up uh, software we all know Nero from uh, decades basically and in, in uh, backing up and copying and uh, doing things to DVDs and CDs and Blu-ray drive security software. They have here also an antivirus software for free. So they give you the keys for all of that and um, the manual, of course, with all the instructions. And I strongly, uh, you know, recommend that you read through this manual because it has all the step by step instructions on how to unlock, lock, set different pins and so forth. You can see there there's a little arrow pointing up. That's the shift key as well. So you can use letters and number combinations for the uh, pin. Now, going through this further, when I feel this, I mean, it's got like a silicon rubber type of feel, of course. It's rugged. You see there the uh, USB 3.1 cable. It's a little bit short, but uh, I plugged it in here onto the side of my laptop so you can see it plugged in and on. Um, the default password is 11223344, so you type that in and you hit the unlock button, and it goes through the motions of unlocking itself and um You'll know that it's unlocked, obviously, when the middle icon there is green, the unlock. That's pretty obvious. Um, and uh, what, what else can I tell you about the drive from the outside here first? Well, um, underneath, it's got the four little feet. It's got some uh, verbiage there that's telling us that this indeed was designed, developed, and assembled in the UK. Bravo for our UK partners. And uh, also, it's got this uh, little uh, Kensington lock hole on the side so you can add an, an, an additional type of uh, padlock or cable uh, right there to fasten this to something so additional uh, security the epoxy um, coating on the top I don't know if you notice the shine on it um, it's really uh, very interesting because I don't think that you can actually uh, see the, the the usage of your keys so when you're pressing the keys right you, it doesn't leave the fingerprints obviously so you can't really tell based on on the uh, material that they use so that's very nice um, when you unlock this by the way you've got options to go into the admin mode okay so right now it's just unlocked and that's the first thing that they recommend you do is to change your pin so obviously we'll have to go in and unlock the drive go into the admin mode and um, change the pin 
right? And that's exactly what I did. I, I changed it from that default to uh, 44332211, for example, just the opposite. So um, you go into the uh, admin mode, like it says in the manual, holding down uh, the unlock and, and, the, and the required number at the top, and then uh, put in your, um, your password that they, that they gave you. And uh, when you see the letter A on the top corner in blue, that indicates that you're in the admin mode. And uh, from there, you're able to do different key combinations to enable or disable features of this um, uh, SSD, encrypted SSD. So, for example, if I want to change it, change the, the pin, I, I did here a unlock two uh, key combination, and then I put in my new pin. Uh, I'll just make it 44, like I said, 44332211, and um, hit the unlock. Repeat it again to, to verify that uh, that's the pin that I want. So 44332211 and um, unlock again, and then it sets that. So now that's the new uh, admin pin, okay, for example. And then you can lock it, right? Now there you go. If I want to unlock it, well, simple. Just type in your pin, 44332211, and then hit the unlock button and let it do its magic there on the fly, real-time encryption and decryption. As you can see right there, it's encrypting and unlocking and letting us into the drive. Now, once you are in the drive, I have it in Windows 10 plugged in here on my laptop. It appears as drive G, okay? I called it drive G in mine and yours. It might be drive D or E or whatever. And uh, the manual appears on the drive. So if I open up that PDF manual, I can go through the motions of reading up what other types of features I can enable, disable, change, whatever. And as you can see there, there's the instructions on changing the admin pin, which I just did a second ago. It has a set read only in admin mode also. You can set up users to have only read mode, for example. Set up a self-destruct pin. Maybe you're going to panic. You don't know, want someone to grab it from you and steal it, and you just type in the pin and voila, everything is gone, right? Uh, things like that. I mean, it's pretty interesting all the different things that they thought of here because also, um, remember, this on its own has its own um, self-destruct mechanism, right? Uh, in case someone's putting in uh, the wrong pins over and over and over, eventually, if someone does that X amount of times, it's going to, it's going to lock itself out and, uh, and eventually, you know, go into self-destruct mode. So uh, it does have its own built-in features to do that and protect itself against that brute force protection, you know, the hacks that, uh, that um, could happen. So nice of them to add all these detailed instructions, including the LEDs, so that way you know what's blinking, what's on, what's off, and how to do it. Very good. Now, when it comes to what's inside of it well obviously i couldn't open it so i ran this disk info utility and it said that it was an a data ssd the su 800 model actually 512 gigabyte a data ssd and um we were expecting about what 300 megs per second on the read and the write that's what they uh had claimed there and um to be honest i ran several benchmarks starting off first with the Addo disk benchmark to get the sequential read and write. And as you would expect on a standard SSD, it gave some great results. Again, this is not meant to break the sound barrier, but I did get really fast performance considering that it's on a USB 3.1 connection. And uh, on average there, you can see I'm getting about 350 megs per second on the read and write. So it tops out at those speeds, which actually exceeded the advertised uh, amounts that they said. So I said to myself, well, I'm going to rerun this using a different utility, and I used the Crystal Disk Benchmark instead, and that one was bang on exactly what they had advertised. So terrific, well done iStorage for um, the specs there, and I definitely uh, was pleased with these benchmarks. Very fast results. This is not a slow drive by any means. Uh, and uh, on the bonus side, I mean, you're really getting this for the encryption, right? You're getting this because you want compliance. Maybe you've got personal uh, information, client information. You want to be GDPR compliant and so forth. You want to protect all of that. So this will um, cater to that and help you. I'll add the latest links below if you're interested in purchasing one of these in different capacities, as I said, and, um, and some more information on my uh, website article with regards to the iStorage 
uh, encrypted SSD model that I have right here. I'd like to thank iStorage for providing it. Comment below, let me know what you think. And again, thank you for watching.